is not just about selling you know, of the platforms or the capabilities, but it's ensuring that we're working together closely, you know, to give the operators, you know, the capabilities, the technology, what they really need when they need it. Uh, and I think that we've done a really, really good job from that perspective. We're extremely proud, and uh, I always say this, and you'll, you'll hear me say this, uh, you know, consistently about the many, many first uh, that, uh, that Boeing and India have had. You know, it's a first international operator of uh, the P-8 aircraft. Uh, currently, we have eight delivered, uh, and uh, we have four that will be delivered. It's the largest single operator of C-17s outside the U.S. Uh, with 11 in inventory now. And when I was there, you know, I recall the pictures, you know, of Cyclone Hud Hud, you know, and the many, many people that C-17 helped to evacuate. You know, and I still have those pictures, just like you know, I have them right in front of me, uh, where you're so proud uh, of how you know the Air Force operated that capability and the many lives and the people, yeah, that it touched. You know, also flooding uh, when we were looking at uh, the P8s. You know, where they're able to do surveillance, you know, to bring in the supplies and to be able to, to be operational and ready. And then what's really significant as well is that we recently uh, delivered, uh, as you recall, when I was in India, we were able to sell both the Chinooks, uh, 15 of them, and the Apaches, 22. Uh, you know, currently with the Chinooks, we have 10 in delivery. Uh, of the Apaches, 12 are in delivery right now. Uh, and you see and you envision, you know, with that Chinook capability, especially the humanitarian, you know, capability that's going to be enhanced, you know, how it can work together, you know, with the CH-47 and other assets that you have, you know, so that inoperability, uh, that uh, opportunity to work together, uh, and uh, for the operators in Boeing, you know, we really are proud of that relationship and association. Something that's also really important uh, is if you take a look at it, it's not just about selling, it's being really a, a fabric of, uh, of the working community here. We're training, uh, we're supporting, we're working together and collaborating. And a real fact is since 2014, since the launch of Make in India, we've quadrupled our sourcing. Okay, so we're sourcing over a billion dollars a year, okay, from, uh, from India. Okay, and that's with purpose and intent. I, I love to give the example of, uh, of the Tata Boeing Joint Venture. Okay, that is manufacturing fuselages. And what's key, and it's always been the vision, is it's not just fuselages for India's consumption, it's fuselages for the world. So India, through the Tata you know, Boeing Joint Venture, will be supplying these for an international and a U.S. domestic you know, customer, you know, which is a significant, <coughs> significant goal and objective that we all have, you know, from an engineering perspective, which has grown so significantly since I was there, uh, you know, we have currently about 3,500 engineers and we see that growing to up to 5,000. You know, so I'm really, really proud, you know, personally uh, of my association with India as a company. I can say we're proud of our association uh, and I think that the, the future is bright. We're going to continue to work together uh, and we're going to continue to uh, to be successful. And with that, I'd like to turn it over to Turbo to talk maybe a little bit what they're doing on Boeing against India. Yeah, 